name is Marty Shaked. I uh, was born September 5th, 1935, which makes me 76 years old. I'm a gay Jewish male, and I was born in Baltimore, raised in Baltimore, spent my whole life in Baltimore, spent all my working life in Baltimore, and should I say I spent my whole gay life in Baltimore. I been associated on and off with the Gay Community Center for many years. In fact, I was on the finance committee when they purchased this building where we are now, where this is being taken. I think to start off, I would tell you a little bit about how I came to realize that I was a gay male. It started, I guess, in my, while I was in high school. I found that I wasn't interested in dating women, that when I looked at men there in high school, they appealed to me more than the women did. And I knew right there and then that I was different than my classmates. I was different than most of the friends that I had. I was raised in a, a Jewish atmosphere, a Jewish neighborhood. Most of my friends at the time were Jewish. Now. When that happened, when I realized that I was different and that I was perhaps gay, I read books about it, several things, but I didn't know what to do. You must remember in those years, I would say the early 50s, I, there weren't many places a person could go. There weren't any organiza many organizations, hardly any. And I had heard there was a gay bar in Baltimore, and it was Leon's down on Tyson Street and Park Avenue. And when I was 20, when I first became 21, I said, well, something has to be done. So I went down and went in Leon, scared to death what I was going to find there. I sat down in a bar and ordered a drink and sat for an hour and no one talked to me and I didn't talk to anybody else. And I left. Well, I did that about four days in a row. And the fifth day, some young man came up to me and said, you know, I've seen you in the air this whole week and you've never spoken. You have your drinks and then you leave. I said, well, nobody spoke to me. I, and then I explained to him. I was just, I had never met any gay people before and that I knew of. And uh, I was just uh, coming out, so to speak. And he introduced me to some of his friends. Next time I came in, I met his friends, and they in turn introduced me to some of their friends. So I started to develop a whole slew of friends. I gave them my phone number and address, lo and behold. Then I was invited to parties, and I met other people, and somebody had mentioned there was a gay group uh, meeting someplace, and I went over there, and that's how I got involved in this uh, the Gay Community Center, which wasn't known as the Gay Community Center then. I think to start off, I would tell you a little bit about how I came to realize that I was a gay male. It started, I guess, in my, while I was in high school. I found that I wasn't interested in dating women, that when I looked at men there in high school, they appealed to me more than the women did. and. I knew right there and then that I was different than my classmates. I was different than most of the friends that I had. I was raised in a, a Jewish atmosphere, a Jewish neighborhood. Most of my friends at the time were Jewish. Now, when that happened, when I realized that I was different and that I was perhaps gay, I read books about it, several things, but I didn't know what to do. You must remember in those years, I would say the early 50s, I, there weren't many places a person could go. There weren't any organiza many organizations, hardly any. And I had heard there was a gay bar in Baltimore, and it was Leon's down on Tyson Street and Park Avenue. And when I was 20, when I first became 21, I said, well, something has to be done. So I went down and went in Leon, scared to death what I was going to find there. I sat down in a bar and ordered a drink and sat for an hour and no one talked to me and I didn't talk to anybody else. And I left. Well, I did that about four days in a row. And the fifth day, some young man came up to me 
and said, you know, I've seen you in here this whole week and you've never spoken. You have your drinks and then you leave. I said, well, nobody spoke to me. I, and then I explained to him. I was just, I had never met any gay people before and that I knew of. And uh, I was just uh, coming out, so to speak. And he introduced me to some of his friends. Next time I came in, I met his friends, and they in turn introduced me to some of their friends. So I started to develop a whole slew of friends. I gave them my phone number and address. Lo and behold, then I was invited to parties, and I met other people, and somebody had mentioned it was a gay group. Uh, meeting someplace, and I went over there, and that's how I got involved in this uh, the gay community center, which wasn't known as the gay community center then. Well, being back in Baltimore again, I ran into a lot. I met a lot of people, and gradually I developed some gay close friends. I would say, uh, even up to now, most of my friends, 90% of my close friends, are gay or lesbian. The problem is I was out on one side and not out on the other side. To my, I, I must realize at the time I worked for a very conservative company here, the Baltimore Gas and Electric Company. And at first I told no one there. None of my schoolmate, uh, none of my uh, um, Friend, other friends outside of my gay friends knew anything. My family certainly didn't, unless they guessed on their own or thought. However, and nobody, I belong to a synagogue, uh, Baltimore Hebrew congregation, which is the lo largest Reformed synagogue in Baltimore for 40 years, and I never told anybody until the last few years there that I was gay. In fact, right now we have a lesbian rabbi, an associate rabbi. And of course, she knows I'm gay. Um, so it was a long, drawn-out procedure. Uh, from the time I was in my 20s till now, I'm 76, a 50, almost a 50-year span. And I would say to any young people now that they have so many more resources and so many much more opportunity to find other people and talk to other people. When I came out, I had, it was like I had to find myself on my own and had to find my friends on my own. And uh, it was hard, but in a way, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad now I feel that I have accomplished something by being gay. As the time went on and I became more integrated into the gay community, I sort of got involved in several groups. I was on the finance committee of the Gay Community Center. Uh, the, the predecessor of the Gay Community Center was the Baltimore Gay Alliance. And that's where I really start going to meetings here in Baltimore. And then that developed into the Baltimore Gay Community Center at the time. And I got involved with that and became, as I said, on the finance committee when we bought the present building. I also got involved in the Jewish gay area. I, uh, myself and some other friends, heard about a Jewish gay group in Washington, and we went over there, and they were just organizing. And I became, uh, I helped organize them into what they are now, the group is called Bet Mishpacha, and they are a very, uh, um, I would say, um, big group now in Washington, and they meet every week and have religious services, and they have uh, other activities. Well, I was one of the people, I was their first, so to speak, spiritual leader. I went over every Friday night and conducted religious services there. And then we had a social hour. I did that for about three or four years, and then it just got too much to go over Washington all the time, and we decided Baltimore to break off from the Washington and start our own group. So we started our own gay Jewish group here, of which I was the co-founder, and I conducted religious services here on Friday nights and on holidays. And then I sort of got out of that, and other people took over, and I became uh, active in uh, different other groups, smaller groups around town, and 
Um, right now, right now at the present time, I'm, I'm working here at the Gay Community Center. It's come full, full circle, I should say. I'm a volunteer two days a week. I work with Baltimore Gay Life newspaper, and I, um, I am uh, with a friend of mine. I'm the dining with the dining critics of Gay Life newspaper. Also, I uh, worked previously for an organization which is defunct now in Baltimore called HERO, um, which was an AIDS type organization. And I was a volunteer there for uh, twice a week. I did all this volunteer. I, was, I, I think I mentioned I worked for Baltimore Gas and Electric Company, and I retired there after 40 years of service. And then I devoted myself to doing this volunteer work of which I'm doing now. Thank you.